So we have various methods for adjusting the buoyancy as well as the ballast of a uh, floating pod. And we have a number of reasons for wanting to do this. Uh, say, for example, if we want to land a helicopter or an air taxi uh, on the sea pod anywhere, then we may need to increase the amount of buoyancy uh, or uh, unload um, ballast. So ballast is something that is, uh, creates heaviness or weight, uh, which gives us more mass, which makes us more stable. Um, but if we have too much, then the station uh, may float or may descend or sink a little bit more than we want it to float. Uh, so we want to have a certain, there's a certain optimum range. Uh, so we'd like, for example, for the entrance to the home to be uh, a certain number of centimeters above the water. So say it's 60 centimeters above the water. Um, if it goes down to 20 centimeters, then that's too heavy. So we want to uh, add some buoyancy to increase the elevation of the door above the water. And if we're too high, say maybe we're a meter and a half above the water, then we want to uh, increase our ballast or increase the weight of the station. So we may do something to adjust the weight um, to make it heavier. So I'll show you a quick diagram of how this works. So we can have a water tank. So let's make a, our sea pod design where we have our, this is not uh, a great design, but this is our tripod model. And uh, we may have water tanks. Like right now we have water tanks inside these spars, these outer side spars, and um, if we want to say here's the door and there's a dock around, the, there's a dock around here, All right? Um, so we want to uh, make sure that the water line, say the water line's here, we want to make sure the water line doesn't get too high or too low. Um, so, in our case, we have water in these tanks and the tanks are full because right now we don't have enough weight on the structure to bring it down to uh, the, the correct water level uh, location where we want it to be. So right now these are filled with, with water. Uh, we could add additional, um, th these are actually solid tanks made of fiberglass, but we have tanks made of um, uh, a plastic material, so it's like a bag, an inflatable bag, and the bag can be filled with both air or water, it depends on how we want to use it. So we could fill these areas of the uh, spar, or the, actually it's not spar, it's the uh, outriggers, we could fill these with airbags to have uh, buoyancy, um, right now, these, this, these tubes, or outriggers, are already filled with air. But it might be a safety thing to be able to have them filled with air in a separate container. A uh, separate compartment just makes it a little bit more safe. But if we wanted to, we could also fill these with water. That would give us more weight. So that's one option to get more um, ballast. Um, on our deep water model, we have what we call a, a ballast bucket, which is something like this. Uh, it's a bucket that is filled with um, something heavy. So that could be various materials, whatever uh, we decide to make, uh, make this heavy, whatever the best materials are. And we have a good idea of what those materials are. Um, so that's how th this is pretty static that we can't really adjust this very well. So this is just a big heavy weight. Say this is a hundred tons. That's a lot of weight. Um, now, if we wanted to be able to adjust this on our deep water model, we won't have these outriggers here. 
So if we want to adjust the weight, then we may have a, an additional buoyancy layer. So this would be continuing the, the box. So it's like, a, it's like a bucket. This is a bucket that's open on the top. So water can freely go in here. So this is at, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something we can easily put more sand or gravel or metals or something else into this to increase weight. Um, or we can remove them easily as well, but we have to dive down to do that. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a manual process. So we can also have an inverted uh, bucket here, which would be open on the bottom, which we could use an air line, like an air hose, which use an air hose that goes in here and fills this with with air. So normally this would be filled with water, but now we can put air in here and then that increases our buoyancy, which causes the whole station to go up. So that's one way to do it. We can also have inverted buckets over here on these side spars or here. So there's lots of ways of doing this. But there's a lot of benefits to be able to do adjust our, our buoyancy uh, and our ballast. And so we will be constantly playing with this balance to make the house uh, perform the way we want it to perform. Uh, say if we have a uh, drone that is landing on our landing pads here, or a helicopter. This is going to be a really bad drawing of a helicopter. Um, <laughs> so there's the, the wings at the top, the propeller blades here at the top. Um, but now this uh, helicopter could weigh as much as 1,600 kilograms, um, maybe even more than that. But I think we're going to have an upper limit, so that might be about the limit. So in that case, we may need to uh, release some of the water from these ballast tanks and then simultaneously fill these uh, underwater inverted buckets uh, with air. And by doing that, it will support this extra weight. Um, and then when the helicopter takes off, then we would add water back in so we'll take this out, we add water back in to these water tanks and then remove the air from this inverted um, ballast uh, tank or the um, buoyancy bucket, I guess we can call it. Um, so that's an idea of how this system works. We can also have um, ballast tanks on the station um, that's not as ideal because that is now, um, it, it just kind of makes things a little bit more unstable. It's better to have the weight lower than it is to have it higher because um, it adds to some level of instability. So we'll try to have as much of the weight down close to the bottom and instead of having that up towards the top. So that's... Uh, a primer on the variable buoyancy and ballast system for a floating pod. Uh, not just any, it doesn't have to be just pods, it can be really for any floating structure as well.